All right, let me show you a really nice way I like to bring contrast back into my image. So because we get that saturation increase in the primary color wheels when we're adjusting our contrast, if I go into my contrast node here, get that pivot 0 0.336, what I like to do is I'll drop my saturation to zero. And now the image, we're just working with complete tonal ranges. So we're working with highlights in the sky, mid-tone details in the skin, and then shadows for the hair. We're only looking at tonal ranges without the distraction of color and any increases or decreases if we're decreasing contrast in the saturation. Let's start dialing in our contrast. So if I start to pull down the lift, you can see we're getting a nice response. We'll bring up the gain. You can just start working with your image until you're satisfied and happy with the amount of contrast you want to bring into it. You know, everyone's going to have different preferences, different amounts of contrast they want. You know, more contrast, more drama, more mood, less contrast, more, more of a soft filmic feel. Let's get it the about there. So let's say we're happy with, with that. We've got a nice amount of contrast now in the scene. So what I'll start doing now, instead of putting the saturation slider back to 50 where we started, what we can do is we can start to increase saturation by sliding it up and slowly bringing the saturation back into the scene. I'm actually pretty happy with that instead of 50 where 50 looks okay, but it's maybe a little bit over. I like it a little bit under, so I'm just going to bring it back down to where we were. And if I do before and after, I'm pretty happy with, with how that's looking. So 